great. Uh, welcome uh, back. Welcome we back. Didn't cut it this we didn't cut it this part out. So, um, part out. so um, as I was saying, I'm going, going to continue, going to continue with, with last week's illustration. Last week's illustration. Uh, this time around, uh, getting, this into time around getting into coloring. Uh, I lay out the block. I lay out the color. That's last week. So that's last week. So. Um, um, this week will just be a this continuation, week just be a continuation of that. It's, 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 it's always the fun it's, part. It's always the fun part. Just getting into coloring. getting into color. Uh, uh, hopefully the camera angle is okay. Camera angle is okay. You could hear. Uh, you could hear uh, me. All right. Uh, me. All right. Uh, uh, all right. So I'm gonna. All right. So I'm gonna start. Start. Uh, uh, from where I left off. From where I left off last week. As you can see here. As have, you can see uh, here. I have uh, uh, some uh, line work. Uh, line work of different versions. Of different versions. Um, um, I'm going to work I'm going on to this work guy. On so this let guy. me so just kind of you can see my screen. You can see my screen in procreate. I'm going to I'm going to uh, uh, create a new layer. Create a new layer. Select the flaps. Select the flaps. Select the flaps. Click, click, select, select. New layer. New layer. Basically, what this Basically one does. What? Because this one does because of the wave of the way procreate works. Procreate um, works. On an, um, iPad on an iPad versus working and coloring working within coloring within Photoshop. Photoshop. Uh, uh, <laughs> still, still, still feeding back. Still feeding, still feeding back. back. Still feeding back. Sorry guys, how about Sorry we guys, pause? How about we pause? Let's try this again. Let's try this again. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. Take off the mic for now. Sure. Mike. 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 Live again. Say something. Hey, say something. Um, hey, trying this um, for trying this time? for a third time. I don't see any reason I why. I see any reason would why be feeding back. Would be feeding back. It is, but it thinks it is. Uh, uh, feeding back. Uh, I can't tell. I gotta get my laptop. 
Test, test, so test. Try going to the, like, the drawing thing. Error! Error! Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it. Nope. Okay, so, nope. So, 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 that's so a good sign. That's a good sign. Huh? Huh? Okay, you're good. Okay, cool. you're good. Cool. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, let me do a fresh introduction. Let me do a fresh introduction. <laughs> <laughs> start from here. Let's start from here. It's not picking up anything from the mic. Is so it, it's picking up from the mic. Every, yeah, everything's doubled. And before that was because we ha you had like Twitch open in another window. Yeah, but I mean like, sorry, the cam. Does is using the microphone from the cam? Oh, it shouldn't be. It should just be the microphone from the microphone. Um, Fickle sources webcam is it right click? Does it? Is there a lock? So it's set to use audio. Use custom audio device, audio device. None, and none of these other ones is set to use the audio. Do you want to try just this one and see if it does it too? Just as a test. <laughs> Test, test, test. Yeah, that only happened once. Oops. What's the difference between your scene and mine? Uh, I don't know, but if it's working, I will leave it like this. Yeah, I guess so. All right, uh, I'm fine. With that. Let me just get back to the screen so I can see comments. And if there's anybody there, you might close it. We're going live. <laughs> if you can hear me now. 
uh, yeah, so I'm Jeff, the art director here at Stitch Media. Uh, working on Terrarium. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is week three of the creative session. Uh, my Friday look into doing some concept art for the game. Uh, this week I'll be continuing on an illustration out that I was working on last week. Um, as you see, I started doing the color blocking and this week I'm going to finish off at least a uh, first pass at this uh, creature. Uh, thanks. So as you see, I kind of, I open up my layer, I created a selection from it. Um, going from Procreate versus Photoshop, you'll realize that it, Procreate has a lot of the tools that you need for illustration. Uh, however, there are just some things that Photoshop will uh, just make simpler. One of them being layer masking, uh, taking a layer and using that to mask out a second layer. Uh, there's some ways around in, photo in Procreate. So uh, in this case, I created a flat layer uh, underneath the line work, uh, colored up just to the outer edges, and then use that as a selection uh, for a new layer. Uh, with that new layer selected, you can see how if I were to go to like airbrushing, get a large brush here. Now you see that it does go outside the edges. Working on the separate layer versus the flat layer that I originally made uh, leaves me the possibility to always go back and uh, reselect that bottom layer and not and not select uh, the lighter orange one that I'm putting on now. Anyways, it's just about like keeping uh, a good amount of layers to keep it uh, flexible uh, without having to repaint over previously painted areas. Uh, so what I'm going to spend the first few minutes here doing is just now going from one flat color block into uh, doing color blocking for certain parts. Uh, in this case it would be like his head, his mustache, his uh, neck frill slash cabbage leaves body, and then maybe the last part would just be the moss that's on his, you know, his belly and his uh, knees. Those are the main areas of uh, color that I would be concentrating on that are quite different from one another. So that's what I'm going to uh, start doing right now. Uh, let me just erase, actually, there we go. So typically when you're doing some color blocking, uh, again, it's it's mainly for selection purposes and and keeping different areas separate from one another. Uh, you don't have to really worry about color. It's not that part of the process yet, but some people do like to use that, uh, the color they're going to use later on uh, for that. So really depending on how complex your image is, um, color blocking could be a quick breeze like this one's going to be, or if your image has a lot of different areas that you do want to keep separate, uh, it is also probably one of the more boring parts of uh, approaching an illustration in this way. Don't worry about the title of my stream, it's okay. Uh, seeing as how your stream got the most views, it might be beneficial to me.
Hopefully it looks okay because my head's always down. One thing I noticed when I was doing this the first time around live streaming, uh, and because I'm working on an iPad and I'm looking down the entire time, is that uh, it tends I tend to get a little bit uh, <laughs> I have a build up uh, at the front of my mouth, my tongue, my lips from always having my head down. I'm trying my best to actually look up for any comments that might come in. Uh, here, so this part of the process is just about done. Uh, the leafy parts, I'll start a new layer for um, or the moss, and then one last one for. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if I would do a second one just for this body. So again, um, since I have that layer selected already, I, I mean the, the selection of the body, I'm not gonna have to go through the whole process a second time of going back to my original uh, flat color layer and then creating a new selection from that. It's still selected. I just created a new layer. I'm simply just going to pick a different color and go for painting there. It might, because it's set to below, um the the leaves it's okay like if i were to hide it you'd see that it actually painted further underneath that part uh but that's okay it's always going to be hidden anyways get that little it's his little friend there actually i i am going to edit this selection a little bit I'm a nitpicky, I'm a little bit nitpicky about uh, edges. So I'm going to unselect that, go back to my original flat layer, and just get rid of these little annoying bits that went outside my line work. Just want to get rid of that. Back in. Just, just being a little, just refine that selection a little bit. I mean, it exists over here too. But you won't see it. But. All right. So, gonna go back. So, go back here. Just tap. Select, it gives me that selection, going back here, color pick again, Slow sound. So you see, working on the moss that appears on his knees. Again, color. Here I'm using purely for color blocking, not the final color. Uh, it's just so it stands out. So that's on his belly. So I think that's most of the area that I really want to just separate. Three parts, I guess, just came down to his body, any leafy stuff, and any of the mossy stuff. Uh, so that's good. And now I can just unselect that. Uh, now that I have these separated, uh, how I lock 
the empty pixels on Pro in Procreate is to use two fingers and swipe. Um, and so, so now you see in the little uh, thumbnail window, you'll see um, the blank uh, pixels behind it now. Uh, I'll do the same to the leaf areas so there, and then the same to his body. So now all three layers, they are uh, pixel locked. I can't, I can't add colors to any kind of uh, empty areas right now. Um, so now is the fun part. Let's get to really start into coloring this guy. Um, what I'm going to do first is uh, I pulled up some uh, color references and image references. So I actually, you can't see on the screen, but I have pictures of cabbages uh, just to make sure. You know, if, if I, I want to follow, follow something a little more closely in color, uh, what kind of coloring I should be going for, if it's going to be a little more realistic. Um, but again, because I'm only going to be sticking with this for another 45 minutes or so, uh, <laughs> well, it seems like we're quick turnaround time, so this is going to be very uh, not as, as uh, perfect as I would normally approach this. Um, so let me just start with like some nice cabbage colors. Make sure I got the right layer going. Um, I guess I will keep this this uh, <laughs> I think Van Dyke brown that uh, Alex had requested last week, so I won't be mucking around and changing it on him. I'll make it work. Ah, oh, the moss. What color should I do with the moss? Normally I would go for... <coughs> I like complementary colors. Um, make things make things really stand out. But again, but if, I, again if I stay with this stay with kind of... Uh, kind of uh, these, these, these type of hues, type of hues they are... They are Easier to easier to match. match. I like I like because because closer closer closer, like closer in the closer same, in the same kind of family kind of family. Uh, they're, uh, little, they're a little too much. Little too much. Push it toward yellow, 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 yellow still. A little more yellow. A little more yellow. There we go. There we go. Covered his. Covered his. Um, then then you know, then back, back, back down, down to his body. Uh, for uh, something like this, something like this, probably go probably straight, go straight to, to doing some, doing some like color like work. Color work. Um, um, if I'm thinking about, if I'm thinking about lighting, lighting, and a more and more natural setting, setting uh, light would be uh, light warmer, would be warmer, so it might be reddish, reddish uh, uh, colors, add colors, more reds, add more reds, and then, and then cooler, cooler colors, colors for shadows, for shadows. Uh, so uh, in this case, in this case, have, I might have. I'm gonna just start with shadows. shadows. I'm gonna pull it. I'm gonna pull it. Comes a, little more, comes a little more purple. Um, um, get a softer get brush. A softer brush. Uh, Let's see how big it is. There we go. There we go. So, so it's picking up the it's picking up the screen. You guys, screen. You guys could see that. Uh oh, uh oh. Gain some echo. Gain some echo. Is my sound on? Echo, 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 echo. Oh man, is oh, it man, doing, is it doing it, again? it again? Hey, Blizzard, hey, Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard. We've been having, we've been having all, all streaming, all session. streaming session. I'll figure, I'll figure what's out happening. what's happening. Um, we, we tried to figure tried out what we, we, we thought we had it done. It might be, it might back. be back. Crazy echo, crazy echo. Did it just, did it pop, just back pop back in? Some reason? For some reason? Was it? Was it? No, because like, no, because like, he, it's echo it's again, echo again, it's changed, it's changed, it's just, just kind of come back. No, no. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Let's, let's 
take a look at the settings, settings again. Sorry, again. Guys. Sorry, guys. I know it's annoying. I know it's annoying. Like the sign. It's not a sign. Hey, Vodka 7 up. Why you there on Can you tell me why it might be having an echo? Having an echo? Oh, wow. I can oh, hear, wow. the, echo I can hear the echo in the background. Sorry. sorry. How about now? Is it, is it fixed now? Is it fixed now? Is it all your device yet? Uh, test, test, test sounds okay now. Okay, cool. so for future reference, what I did was I disabled the default audio input and I set it to only uh, be recording audio from the web. Only from the web? Yeah, so I like turned off the default audio input and I just did webcam. Okay. So now if I press this, does it work too? Doesn't that just reset the settings? Seems working. It's the same thing, basically. Okay. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to continue. No, no one tinkered with yesterday. No one streamed yesterday, so it's okay.
Thanks, Aaron. No, no one fiddled with it yesterday. Don't think so. All right. So where was that? Was uh, adding shadows and color to the body of this this guy. Um, here we go. So here I'm just doing some very quick uh, height highlighting. Um, change the brushes so it's not so soft, change the size. Get us some tighter highlights. So here I'm just trying to find the edges of what and of the textures of his uh, forehead. Since he's a tree, I'm thinking about the textures of a tree, uh, how sharp uh, the reflections come up, appear on uh, with that kind of material. Again, with limited time on this guy, I'm just going to breeze through some of the details rather than being so clean and specific about uh, where every tiny line should go. Because uh, again, this is concept work, so I shouldn't necessarily really go into it uh, with the idea of making it a finished piece that, you know, has the same amount of detail as, let's say, a splash art or whatnot, or a poster. This is just something strictly just to convey idea. Um, so starting with just like colors that are just slightly different than the main color you're either adding shadows or highlights to. Um, it means that you could really just uh, go in and then do second and third passes to really bring up the highlights. This first pass, you know, if we're looking at it, sure, you can see where the highlights are starting to appear. Uh, but if I were to go in the second time with another brighter color, uh, then you'll start to really know where textures and uh, bits of the surface material are starting to really pop. Uh, so that really happens uh, during second passes rather than just going in this color right now. Bigger 
brush would be nice here. Oof, too big. Yeah, just create a nice big white area on this guy's belly. It's just like I think these little details that just bring out so much more uh, depth and character to a really flat line drawn image. Um, finally, putting in those first few highlights is always one of my favorite things to do. How's that look? Um, maybe I will go for a second pass right now. I think I have the time for that. Now, really, you should be like constantly changing colors, going back and forth, color picking, uh, just so not everything is so uh, specifically just one, two, three colors. Um, like, even changing the opacity. Of the brush helps a lot and so that um, you get great uh, gradations of the colors um, but right now as you see um, this is a little slide over here I'm keeping it up into the 80% um, uh, opacity um, I do like to work with flatter colors rather, and then just kind of brush upon them later on with softer with a softer brush and a lighter color uh, so just my preference right now I just like seeing these harsh lines that don't necessarily uh, need to have that nice uh, fluid feel to them I just want that sh that Christmas that that highlight that you see when uh, light just kind of bounces off uh, an edge Now, one thing I gotta say right now, as I'm looking, because we're we're basically stream mirroring the iPad, uh, what the, what's on the iPad screen to uh, the PC. I'm looking at the the monitor here, and I'm not sure, and the colors are off. Like basically, what I'm seeing uh, on the screen in front of me versus what I'm seeing on this on the iPad below me. I'm working with the colors that I see down on the iPad, but there's quite a huge shift going on 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 screen and I don't really know I can't really tell what you guys are seeing whether it's going to be uh, something really vibrant uh, saturated on uh, as on the monitor versus what I'm seeing down here on the iPad which is a little more subtle which is really what my reference is uh, so again it's uh, if you see something really really saturated it might not be color corrected to the way that uh, it was meant to be seen. So just a little, if you're looking at this art, you're going, huh, those are an odd, that's an odd choice of colors. Uh, that could be it. I mean, it's not far off. The colors themselves aren't too far off, but it's definitely, uh, if I was being picky, I would say, oh, I would not be using something that orange for this guy. So 
I think it's okay for now. Uh, on his forehead, I'll just quickly add some more down here. Just trying to get like the knots. Uh, that appear in wood. Uh, get that kind of effect on his skin. So I got roughly half an hour, so that's still enough time to get in roughly what I have planned for today. So moving on to his hands, his fingers now. Uh, if we were to stand back and take a look at this, I'd still say it's a bit of uh, still looking quite flat for me. Um, things I would do is like increase the shadows, add a little more. Um, highlight to his forehead really bring out what should be standing out like what really is coming forward and has volume and that would be his his, his forehead um if i were being a little more specific and looking at where shadow should be falling i probably shouldn't have shouldn't have, have uh colored in his belly <laughs> as a highlight since that is probably underneath a cast shadow um of his chest and his head and i actually might think like if i'm if I'm thinking I'm being adventurous enough and want to do it uh, without, without having to go back, I just might kind of recover it so it does look like a cast shadow. Um, that might help. And really f making this thing look uh, as it would in 3D space. So let's say, you know what? Let me just do a quick test of what that would look like. I can always undo, so it's all right. So, something like this. Is that something, does that work? I'm looking at it, maybe, maybe I will keep that. I know it's a little bit odd, but I like it because it's a little more dynamic. So I am gonna keep that, even though it wasn't what I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting to do that. So again, I'll just add a little bit of detail, pick up some of the first bits of highlight to throw in. color pick and just bring in some of the highlights here.
How does that look? Uh, I'm going to now just quickly do one more pass, but this time in the shadows. Should be working a lot looser than I am. It's great. It's just uh, both working looser than I normally would, and doing more detail than I should. How's that looking? So, just going to bring back a little bit of the brown in the shadows. It wasn't completely, should be completely dark there. I think that's okay for now. Uh, maybe one last thing would be to. I think this is where, so I'm going to try something else here. Uh, again, I go and take a layer, make a selection, create a new layer on top. Now, this is something that I would actually try after the other areas, like the leaves would be colored in, but I just want to see what some highlight effect would be. Uh, so it's like, it's like this, pick maybe a nice yellow. A uh, big soft brush, and what I'm going to do here. See what that looks like if we go to change some of the uh, blend modes. Go to something white. Weird. 
don't like yellow after all. So just quickly go, change. Uh, hue saturation, change the hue, see what that looks like if I change around. So that yellow I picked, what does it look like if I were to pick another hue instead? Um, you know, make something look white. Those purples, reds, whites. So that's just something I want to test. Uh, actually, oof. anyways, just a quick test. I'm not gonna keep keep with it. Uh, now moving on to the leaves around his head. Um, this is something that I do want to pull up a little bit of reference to. Oh, actually, one really important thing that I didn't do um, is color the line work. Coloring the line work itself is actually pretty, uh, does have quite an impact on the look. So I'm going to actually uh, duplicate this so I always have a backup. Then I'm going to duplicate it, hit the original, working on a copy, turn that layer, um, lock the transparent pixels. So now if I were to color in this layer, you can see I'm just coloring in the line work. Uh, trying to think what else is visible. That's a weird one. Why am I not being able to color in the rest of those pixels? That black outline. Where is that come from? Oh, my bad. I still have something selected. Oh, no, one There we go. That should fix it now. Yep. So now as you see, that is actually a cool effect. I like that color combination of yellow right into green. So it looks like it's like some gold metallic line work going in. Again, wasn't planning on using that for the colors, but I might. At least for the leaves. I think for his face, he does it, it's still something that, that needs to be a bit uh, different. So, um, I might go just where that doesn't matter. Yeah. So the line work is a little less visible than you know if i were to keep it black uh but at least this way it blends better uh with the color of his body i actually just realized i didn't color any of his eyes Instead of blue, I'm going to go with something orangey. Maybe give his eyes a bit of a bloom effect after, make it a little glowy. Um, I think this is okay for now. Get a shadow.
going to make a new layer for the single purpose of being able to put a white highlight on an eyeball above the line work. Oh, sorry. All right, back to line work, coloring line work, uh, specifically on the lay illustration there. So with the with the leaves now, I'm going to go into that specific layer. Again, it already has the transparent pixels locked, uh, and now to pick the colors. So uh, that's a nice place to start. Go with something a bit. Uh, um, we'll make it make it a tiny bit bluer, but just bring down the color quite a bit. Um, to approach this, because it's because I want a soft gradient from the parts of the plant that are deeper within it, uh, going out into a lighter yellowish, um, and because all these leaves overlap, there's going to be a, a connection between a really hard sharp edge, uh, where one leaf overlaps the another, and then from for the gradient from the shadow to uh, to the lighter parts of the leaf. Um, so for this one, it's going to be going um, back and forth between sticking that shadow, then going back to actually fix the edges of it. So I'm going to start off with a soft brush, the size, and just for the sample one, you'll see uh, it's too dark. So I want to start off where the, the darkest parts. Actually, that's still too heavy. So that is what I want it to look like. And then again, for maybe this leaf over here, starting at the bottom layer of leaves. And actually, I want to save that so I don't have to consistent, constantly go back. Just create a new one. I'll pick this color, create that. And last, I want to create a yellow. So that'll be the last color. Uh, here we go, I got my normal color, my shadow color, highlight. I can easily go back and forth. Um, I'm gonna add in the highlight to this. And this is the point where I should have totally worked with the lower layer of leaves first. Now I get this part where it's gonna bleed to the bottom one. Anyways, so there we go. Got that one. Now I'm going to switch, go back, get a harder brush, go back in, and recreate that edge to the layer of leaf above it. It's a bit of a pain, and it's not as precise as I want to be because normally I would be. Um, Selecting this so it doesn't really affect or actually creating a whole new layer uh, Color blocking just something so it doesn't really affect uh, What is going on with the leaf next to it? 
but for time considerations, I mean, Jesus, I only have 10 minutes. Time flies, I don't have time. Uh, I'm going to bypass that. So again, uh, go to the shadow, soft brush, start somewhere in the middle. these leaves won't be as realistic I mean I wasn't going re too realistic but it's not as uh, proper as I want it to be so here I'm just taking shortcuts I'm just doing this very quickly now um, To quickly, I guess, just do a freehand selection of what I want to color. Basically, I'll be able to go in and just catch the tips there. Deselect that. Doesn't look half bad. Uh, just repeat that process again for every leaf. So again. Quick and dirty method. Because for this specific leaf, it's meant to be curled over by itself, and I only want that highlight on the outer rim. I didn't quite follow. Uh, I didn't trace the entire leaf itself, just the part that I want to have that highlight hit. And see what that looks like. That's good. I think this thing is turning out all right. Well more vibrant than I wanted it to be. Um, so I can't really anything for this leaf. I can just, don't even need to isolate it. Same with this one. But now that that's done, I'm gonna go in, medium brush, little passe, smaller brush. Now, probably just to get some of the uh, highlights in. Actually, let's go bump up to that. Tighten it up a little bit. This way, I can get some of the rims of these leaves, the edges.
comes to one of the softwares, especially Ink and Brush. Ink Brush gives you a nice, clean line. And you're able to do things like this, which is just like really tight, uh, following all the veins. Uh, so I'll actually keep that, create a new color. Uh, before I continue, I want to go back into the color layer. And this time, uh, color in the veins of these leaves. Uh, I'm thinking something slightly reddish, red brown, orangey red. Anyways, something like that. I have five minutes left. Just give myself an alarm here. So I don't spend all day on here. Uh, here we go. Let's see what that looks like. If I were to color the line, line work this color. Pretty vibrant. A bit more than I want. Again, brown. Something closer to the color used on the line work for the body. Um, again, it could be one of those times where I do gradient on the line work instead of just making all the lines just a single color. Um, that gold effect that you see over here is, I think, is cool, but I'm not sure if it's it's uh, appropriate uh, for the sign. I think I do want a bit of a gradient going on in this color. So, darker color. And do that for the line work that's deeper in the heart of the, each leaf. I think that's okay for now. And now I can quickly go back, go back to my inking brush. Um, and just add in some detail in these line looks like just oops wrong layer go back here and just adding in some line work uh, as a follows veins I mean once that starts going into the darker parts of the leaf uh, that contrast is really gonna pop I'm not sure if actually doing that to every single vein is necessary, but I think uh, it's worthy to do in some places. Maybe on the thicker veins, doing the highlight. What do you guys think of that? So just a few more touches of that and I will be calling it uh, done for this this stream. Cool. 
So again, um, I'll probably continue this next week for a little bit before moving on. Uh, I'll probably finish off with doing the moss and then doing some what I would think of as a global covering that overlays all the parts um, just so that they blend a bit more so that they look like they're being hit with a consistent light um, and then probably just add in a bit of shadows of background shadows um, cast by him onto the floor and then one after that probably actually just kind of coloring these little moo, moo guys that he's actually been staring down at the entire time uh so that is it for this week uh thanks for joining me um hopefully next week there won't be any audio problems uh sorry about that but uh thanks for hanging out with me today all right thanks guys <laughs>